What's up friends, it's Kendall back here again for the eighth installment in our financial friendship. Thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate your time. I know it's precious and I never want to waste it. Guys, I put a lot of time and effort into these videos because I want to bring you quick, concise, accurate information that gives you financial benefit. To show your appreciation, I just asked for a couple simple things in return and both of them are free to you. Number one is hit the like button. Also, number two, hit the subscribe button. It greatly helps out this channel to get the content out there. That way, more people can find out this great information. But with all that being said, let's dive into the content. Guys, today we are going to be talking about a dividend stock that has been in the news quite a bit over the past couple of weeks after it made a huge announcement that it was increasing its quarterly dividend by 16.7%. Not only are they increasing their quarterly dividend, they have been consistently increasing their dividend for 15 consecutive years, making them a dividend contender. And over the past five years, they have a dividend growth rate of 11.45% annually. The dividend stock of the week we're talking about is the Kroger Company, aka Kroger, ticker symbol KR. The Kroger Company engages in the operation of supermarkets and multi-department stores. Its brands include Big K, Check This Out, Heritage Farm, Simple Truth, and Simple Truth Organic. The company was founded by Barney Kroger in 1883 and is headquartered in Cincinnati, Ohio. Guys, Kroger is the largest supermarket in America. It is also the second largest general retail store trailing only behind Walmart. They are number 23 on the Fortune 500 rankings for the largest U.S. corporations by total revenue, and they are found within the S&P 500. They are also the fourth largest American-owned private employer, employing over 453,000 employees. And here's a quick fun fact for you. I used to be one of them. While I was in high school, I worked at a Kroger for two years. It is a great company. They do value their employees. They allow for a lot of opportunities in promoting internally. They have a great business model that they continue to adjust with the times, and they have a terrific management team. That great management team has equated to growth for this company. Let's take a quick look at some of the growth this company has had. As of July 2021, year-to-date, the company is already up 6% in total revenue. They are up 10.6% in same-store sales. They are up 118% in digital sales, and that is after already increasing their digital sales 116% in 2020. Also in 2020, they had a brand sales that equated to $26.2 billion, which was up 13.6% on the year. Now you may be asking yourself, okay, with all this revenue that they have coming in, what exactly are they doing to bring you benefit as an investor? Well, number one in the acute setting, they are increasing their dividends, as previously mentioned, with the recent 16.7% uh, bump in their quarterly dividend. But also they made a huge announcement that they are going to begin a $1 billion share buyback program. Now, why does that bring you benefit as an investor? Well, guys, the reason that it's going to bring you benefit as an investor is because whenever there is a supply of shares in the open market, when they decrease the supply that's out there, it increases the intrinsic value for each share that you own, and it should cause a bump in the share price because generally people are going to pay more when an item is scarce or when it is limited. Now, one of the big things as an investor that you might be thinking or uh, it may be throwing up a red flag is with that 16.7% increase in the dividend, is that something that is sustainable? Is that you know a marketing scheme where the company is just increasing their dividend in the acute setting to bring an influx of investors in that they will then you know cut the dividend or even suspend the dividend, which is a valid point anytime you see a big jump like that. So let's take a look at some of the financial fundamentals of this company. Now, as of July 3rd, 2021, the Kroger Company currently has a stock price of $38.37 in the after-hours market. It has a dividend yield of 2.19% with a payout ratio of 19.85%. And year-to-date return, they are currently up 
20.81%. Now guys, what that 19.85% payout ratio means is that 19.85% of their total revenue is allocated towards paying their dividend. So that means that more than 80% of their total revenue, they can allocate to other things, whether it be paying down their debt, further share buybacks to increase the intrinsic value, which should hopefully increase the stock price, leading to a growth in your dividend portfolio. They can put their money towards things such as obtaining new locations to then sell more products, extending their brands by obtaining new branding, um, which could then drive their brand sales up in the future, and that should equate to future uh, growth in the revenue as well. Guys, what that means is there is a lot of money in the bank. Their 2.19% dividend yield is very sustainable, and with 80% of their revenue not even allocated towards their dividend currently, that should make you very confident that this is a dividend that's very stable, but also it leaves a lot of room for growth in the future as well. As I know I'm hitting you with a lot of information, but statistics and information is what drives the market. So it's very important that you don't miss any of this. If you feel like you have either misunderstood or just missed any of the information, please go back, rewind it, or start the video over just to make sure that you've got all that valuable information. Speaking of valuable information, in the description below, I am going to leave a link for last week's Dividend Stock of the Week, which was Gladstone Land Corporation. Now, Gladstone Land Corporation is a real estate investment trust. I have previously made a video regarding real estate investment trusts as well. I will leave that link in the description below also. I need you to now do something. You have to do your own due diligence. This is for entertainment purposes. It is not financial advice because I am not a financial advisor. So you really have to do your own internal investigation into this company to determine if its business model meets the parameters of your dividend portfolio. Guys, please do not forget the motto of this channel, and that is educate yourself, invest wisely, and be prosperous. I wish nothing but prosperity on all of you all. One of the ways to become prosperous is to get you some free stocks. In the description below, there are two links. One is for Webull and one is for Robinhood. If you click on those links, you download the apps and begin your investment journey. You can get both of us some free stocks. I thank you in advance for that. Best of luck. Let me know in the comments below what you get. Guys, I always value your time. I know your time is precious and I never want to waste it. So please know that I thank you so much and I appreciate all the time that you spend with me. And with all that being said, until next time, I'll miss you. I love you. Peace.